One of my favorite pastimes is getting people to play the masterpiece Overcooked. There is just so much to like about the game, and everyone who has played it has come back to me to tell me that they don't know if they should curse me or thank me for introducing it to them. Cooking games are an interesting style for video games, as many people might be put off with the idea of simulating working in a kitchen. However, games like Overcooked, Played Up, and of course the OG Cooking Mama go to show that there's plenty out there to prove those doubters wrong. An upcoming indie game is looking to use this style and mix it with roguelike and tower defense elements in order to stand out from the crowd. But will the ingredients come together in harmony, or is this a game that's better left forgotten? Developed and published by Team Samoyed, who also developed an interesting esports management simulator, Team Fight Manager, Kitchen Crisis is a culinary tower defense game. You are abducted by aliens and must satisfy their appetite, or else you'll be their next meal. Aliens will enter through a portal and run through the winding level as your chefs create a buffet like station that will feed them as they pass. Every recipe is different, each having varying levels of complexity, with more complex dishes taking longer to make, but being more satisfying to those off-world customers. You can also obtain permanent bonuses, one-time use items, or even purchase upgrades to your equipment and food, or even purchase additional chefs. If you want to live to see another day, then you must adjust your strategy with the ever-changing list of recipes and challenges. My initial impressions of Kitchen Crisis was that it was a bit rough as I felt like I set up my station strategically to maximize coverage, but then this happened. After the initial confusion of how to play properly, Kitchen Crisis turns into a very interesting and unique roguelike where the player's attention has to cross between ensuring their individual kitchens have everything they need and monitoring the customers. This dynamic is enhanced with a timer that shows inefficiencies in the kitchen, and there's even a graph that shows the flow of cooking each recipe. The strategy I ended up using was putting the fast, low-level recipes towards the front and the higher-level recipes towards the end of the line, keeping each recipe isolated from one another. The isolation was mostly due to the random way the chefs moves around, and I sort of wish that there was a way to kind of assign the chefs to a certain recipe without having to box them in. The bosses were interesting, and I kind of hope that I can see more diversity among the alien abductors, as I think that's what will keep the levels interesting. Overall, I was very pleased with my time playing Kitchen Crisis. I feel like this game does a great job of mixing all of its components, but as always, I kind of wish I could have experienced a little more. Even if that was just playing one of the other playable chefs in the kitchen, I think it would have given me some sort of idea of what variants to expect between each run. But looking at the sheer number of differences alongside a large tech tree, you can see that the aim is to have you keep coming back with different strategies for you to try until you can feed every guest. I say that, but I would have liked to try a change in strategy, and I can see where it's beneficial to share assets that are used in multiple recipes, however I really couldn't find a different way to play, so I hope the variants can bring about the ability to have a different strategy. I don't really feel like it was hard, as I only had a few instances of losing any health, but I do expect there to be more challenge when the game releases on April 2nd. But that'll be it for this video, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and as always, be kind to one another. As always, thank you to my patron supporters Relativity and Naughty Dog is King, alongside all those who are subscribed to the channel. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like, comment, or subscribing. If you aren't, very soon I'm going to be looking to bring a new look to demo diving, so hopefully you'll enjoy the changes, but I will see you in the next video.